Hello everybody, my name is Beck. Welcome to my channel. Welcome back to my channel. So today I'll be going through my February potential TBR. Ta-da! I'll be going through my physical TBR first, then my ebooks, and then some potential arcs that I might throw in towards the end of the video. Is it ambitious? Is it a lot of books? Yes. Am I going to read every single thing that I'm going to mention in today's video? Probably not, but one can hope and dream. And there might be some repeats if you're a returning subscriber. You already know the drill at this point. If you are new to my channel, I feel like I'm nothing but a liar at this point, but I do have other hobbies. One of them include <laughs> video games, as you can probably tell from from my backdrop because I do have like some Nintendo Switch, some, some, and PS4 games, a Switch there, and a Switch here. I'm trying to have a social life, work life balance, read all my books, play all my video games that I buy, which is impossible. And I have a ton of ebooks. I have two e-readers, one Kobo, one Kindle. I also have a spending problem. So this year I decided the first thing I'm going to do is cancel my Amazon Prime subscription. I had an annual subscription. I just let it run out. I canceled it. So I can't buy any more books from Amazon. I'm trying my best not to buy anything from Amazon to begin with. I'm trying to support local bookstores, my local library. I'm trying my best and I don't really want to buy from Amazon in general. And secondly, I let my Kindle Unlimited subscription go. It ended today. For my Kindle Unlimited, I had like a six month subscription because they were doing some deal. I got it for like 30% off if I paid up front. Did use my Kindle Unlimited subscription very well. I read almost every single day on my Kindle and it was worth it. There's a lot of Kindle Unlimited books that I wouldn't have even tried if I didn't have the subscription, which I'm grateful for. But now I can finally go through my physical TBR. Um, I'm just hoping that I will stop buying books this year, but I already have a couple of pre-orders coming in and I'll mention it later in the video. But without further ado, let's start with my physical TBR for this month. So I want to read Love to Love You by Ali Hazelwood. I've already read the novellas, combination of three novellas. The first one, Under One Roof, Stuck With You, below zero. It is part of the Staminus novella collection. I've read all three. The only thing that I will be reading from this is the exclusive bonus chapter. And that's the only thing I haven't read yet, which is over here. I've only read two pages of it. It should be easy to do. I also own the audio books for all three of them. I've also seen Below Zero, one of the novellas, for free on Amazon. So you might want to keep an eye on that because it's not free for me anymore, but I did see on Amazon America. So if you see it for free, grab it. The series was okay. I would say it's between a three to three and a half stars. If you've read one Ali Hazelwood's book, it's kind of similar. It's kind of almost like a repeat. It's comfortable to me. I do enjoy it. I'm only here for the bonus chapter, but I wanted to own the physical copy anyway. Of the fine print, terms and conditions, I would hold out my third book right now. It's supposed to come today. It got delayed and it's going to get shipped out sometime next week. So I'm going to get it a, a week after. So yeah, I have book one, book two. I wish I could show you book three. I did pre-order it a while back and it's called Final Offer. I have read the first book, which is The Fine Print. So it's a series, different brothers. This one's the youngest brother, which is the first book. This is the oldest brother. And the third book is the middle brother. This one is Rowan and Zara and this one's Declan and Iris. I've seen so many people talk about this. I haven't read it yet. I get easily distracted but at least I read the first book. This was originally on Kindle Unlimited. That's where I read it. If it's not ebook format, it's really hard for me to pick up a physical book these days. It's just so much easier for me to read the digital version of it. I didn't really like the first book which is the fine print. People advertise it as enemies to lovers. That's why I was intrigued because I'm a sucker for enemies to lovers. There's something wrong with me but that's my favorite trope. So I really like enemies to lovers and I was pretty early on in my reading journey and I just like recently joined the booktube slash booktalk community as a viewer. I've seen so many people talk about this so I picked it up. I read it on Kindle Unlimited and then they took it out. It was an average read for me. I wouldn't say I hate it. I didn't love it but when I saw this in person I just wanted to pick it up. I didn't think this would become traditionally published and I was kind of like surprised and intrigued. That's why I picked it up but I heard the second book is better and I'm hoping this third one will be really good as well. 
So what is this series about? Basically, Rowan, Declan's, and Kane's grandfather passes away. They're wealthy billionaires, and he left them a will, but they don't have access to their inheritance unless they do certain tasks, and the grandfather gives them like certain tasks that has something to do with the theme park that they own. Each brother has a different story between a different girlie. Believe it or not, I actually spent like 15 minutes trying to like string a sentence, explain what that is. And the third book is about second chance romance. It's been advertised on my timeline so much. I've got this on day one. I still haven't read it yet. So I will this time around because all three books are out and I have no excuse. I have The Stolen Air by Holly Black. I got it once again on day one and it still has that fresh brand new book smell. Here's the thing. I was actually rereading The Cruel Prince yesterday and I wasn't reading the whole book in its entirety I was like picking out my favorite chapters that are tabs like I pulled out all my tabs and then I retabbed them I was like going through mainly queen of nothing I wasn't really reading the first two books I was like glancing kind of refreshing my brain about the whole world but it's still relatively fresh in my mind and I think it's also available on Kindle Unlimited now when I was like reading the blur for this I completely forgot who Surin is but after reading queen of nothing i was like oh yeah it's that character i won't be saying anything because it will kind of spoil the story you kind of have to read the first three books to kind of get this one it's kind of like a fourth book of the series but i guess you can also read it as a standalone you'll just be confused with certain things i heard that Cardin and jew which is the main protagonist of this series isn't exactly featured they are mentioned but they aren't featured so i said i'll read it on the first day but here i am holding this book this is like the first book of a duology so I kind of want to wait until the second book comes out. I think I'm going to force myself to finally start this one. I heard like really mixed reviews about it but I'm really excited for it. I know I said last month that I was going to start it. In fact I tried filming a reading vlog with these books and it didn't end up happening because I hated the video so much. I ended up just deleting all the clips. I didn't manage to read a single thing. I think I only got through like the first chapter. I have the audio book and my local library has the first three but for some reason the fourth one is not something about the narrators for this audiobook is not matching well with me and i just couldn't get into the story okay i know this is a pet peeve for some people but the first two are indie copy special editions and the other two i bought from big w which is traditionally published here in australia the texture the sizings everything's different but indie published books they do look nice on the shelf but I'm scared of damaging them. They're traditionally published. I feel like traditionally published books in Australia are pretty sturdy. You can just like throw them up against the wall and they won't break. Obviously, that was a joke. I'm not going to do that. This series is so popular on TikTok and on Instagram. I kind of already know the story due to like social media because everybody talks about it so much. I've seen like snippets and I have read one of Anna Huang's other books. I want to know what the hype is about. I'm very intrigued and I will try my best to film another reading vlog but I don't know about you guys but sometimes when I film a video I look back on my clips if I hate it I just have to get rid of it okay I just hated the reading vlog that I did I will try again sometime this weekend but I think I have like a lot of paperwork I have to do so we'll see what happens okay next book I have here is the indie copy of The Brutal Prince by Sophie Lark I think this is like a special edition as well because the other indie copy is of a real life person I don't particularly like real people covers but when I saw this I was like hell yeah I do have the ebook version and I bought the audiobook if you buy the ebook from Amazon or you have it on Kindle Unlimited sometimes they whisper sync and the audiobook is a lot cheaper so I only got the audiobook for like 350 and this will be my first official Sophie Luck book is it dark romance would it be considered dark romance it's mafia romance rivals to lovers enemies to lovers it's advertised as such and I think the most famous scene that I've seen on TikTok slash Instagram slash YouTube is when the main characters share their first kiss on their wedding day and our main male protagonist is apparently allergic to strawberries and our female protagonist decides because she hates him that she's gonna eat some strawberries before he she kisses him. 
so we love a toxic relationship <laughs> but they're like rivals like rival mafia marriage or convenience kind of situation i think that's all i can remember it's the same texture as these ones because they're indie published books that i bought from amazon i didn't have a choice it was either amazon or no books if you are a returning subscriber or if you've seen any of my videos before especially my tbr videos i have mentioned this book so many times that it's not even funny i will read it trust and belief I know for the past five months I've been saying that I'll read this book and I will because I got the second book of the series. It's a lot thinner so maybe I'll have the chance. I also bought the audiobook when it was on sale. I've also been saying this quite a lot. So it's set on you by Amy Lee and I also have X's and O's. Apparently this is a Valentine's Day theme book so it's perfect for this month so that's motivation enough to read it right? But here's the thing. Okay this one I don't know why asian rap body positivity sounds amazing this one is about like her 10 ex-boyfriends um i'm kind of embarrassed on myself but i do have the first and second book of the series and i will read it this is like a fitness influencer this is like a book influencer so she's like a bookstagram influencer i think i don't know who the main love interest is for this one but it does talk about her 10 previous ex-boyfriends and she's like going down the list now i'm gonna go through my kindle my kobo my ebooks my audiobooks and my ox that i might read in the month of february the first one i'm gonna read is doom by regine abel okay so in december i won a giveaway by regine abel i love her series it's the monster series i know some of my real life friends and potentially some co-workers like watches my videos i really hope you don't hi beatrix i'm just testing it out if you actually reply in the comments i'm gonna go and pass away so in december regine abel one of my favorite authors for monster romance she did a giveaway and i won like a small prize i didn't win the grand prize but still i got something for free so i got some bookmarks some prints it is safe for work by the way i'm just covering just in case this is like a calendar that's part of it i can't show you the prints and the stickers but here's the bookmark one of them so i decided to actually finally start this series it which is like an alien romance since I got the bookmark for it so I'm like why not if I like a monster series I'm gonna like her alien series as long as it's not like a contemporary romance I'm good to go which is funny because I have some contemporary romance which I plan on reading in my physical TBR so the very first book of this series is called Doom I bought the audiobook because I had Kindle Unlimited and I bought the audiobook and then I got it for like 350 once again because of Whisper Sync it's about alien invasion to earth and I'll see how I feel when I I finished the first book. I started the book but I am nowhere near done with it. The second book that I really want to read is Anastasia by Sophie Lark. I want to start on Brutal Prince or Anastasia, one of these books by Sophie Lark. Anastasia is a standalone and it's a fantasy romance. I heard they're really good so I can't wait to start either of them. It'll be my very first time reading anything from Sophie Lark but they seem to be pretty interesting. I don't really know much about Anastasia except one of my mutuals. She really likes the book and it's her very first time reading anything from Sophie Lark as well and she told me to read it so it's on my list. I also have Better Than The Movies by Lynn Painter. I have a piece of paper if you're wondering why I'm, where I'm looking at. It's due tomorrow so I will read it. I borrowed it from my library. It's on my Libby app and I can read it off my Kobo. And I also have Owner of a Lonely Heart by Eve Carter. Once again, it's a library book. I have really good things about the book. I plan on reading my library alone um, because someone's actually waiting for me to return the book. So I need to do that. I also have Witcher Going to Do by Avery Flynn. I have read her previous books before and they were so, so to me, but I'm hoping this one might be something different that I'll actually like and enjoy. Her other books were okay. There was just like three and three and a half stars to me, like an average read. It wasn't bad. It wasn't like my favorite. The title is really fun. The art looks really nice. It's a library loan, so it should be easy for me to pick it up and read it if it's an ebook. I also got Icebreaker by Hannah Grace. My physical copy was supposed to come in today. So Final Offer and Heartbreaker was supposed to come in today because they were released a day apart. Final Offer was supposed to ship out on the 31st icebreaker got delayed till the 15th but it was originally supposed to come out on the 1st of feb so both books are now delayed so i'm hoping that i'll get a chance to read it sometime in feb honestly it's not that bad because i do have a lot of options as you can probably tell so honestly i'm not in a hurry to read icebreaker because i'm not in the mood to read anything sports related i've heard such great things about it it is such a hyped up 
book on the social medias but I've also seen some negative reviews about it saying that it was like too lengthy and too detailed when it comes to like certain players of the books as in hockey players so I don't know we'll see what happens but my book is delayed so I can't say anything I don't know if I'm gonna even read it when I get it but hopefully I do I know there's a sequel to things we never got over the pink cover which I can't remember the name on top of my head it doesn't come out until March here in Australia I think the book comes out in February for most people I did pre-order that I did not like things we never got over I'm hoping the second book might be better I did not like the main love interest I thought he was too crude a lot of things he said was unforgivable in my personal opinion for especially for his age but anyway that's my personal opinion I know a lot of people really love that book and I do own the audiobook for it it was originally on Kindle Unlimited so that's why I bought it because it was like cheaper that way I have like mixed feelings about Lucy Scores like love interest I kind of have beef with like two of them but I'm hoping the third one the pink cover one what is the third book called okay the book is called things we hide from the lights I think this is a second chance romance I know the characters I recently read um things we never got over again at least a, a couple of last chapters just to like refresh my brain because I think one of my friends was asking me about why I didn't like the book and I was trying to find like the quotes that Knox the main male protagonist said please don't come for me it's just it's like my personal preference everyone one's different the character just didn't mesh well with me I just couldn't get over certain things but that's just like a personal beef that I have with fictional men <laughs> hit the thumbs up button if you enjoyed this video leave a comment down below if you have anything you'd like to say to me hit the subscribe button if you want to see more content from me hit the bell for notifications and I'll see you guys in my next video bye